Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't have right to this music. Facebook, I just want to use it for ministration. God bless you. Thank you, Lord of us. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we welcome your presence in this place. Thank you, King of Glory. Have your way. Thank you, Father. Take over. The preeminence moved by your power. Yes, Ancient of days, there is none like you. Thank you. you are the beginning, you are the end. Yes, you are the all powerful, you are the all knowing. You, you are the ever present yes, help Lord. in the time of need. Jehovah's about to yes, welcome your presence. Thank you, Lord. Move by your power. Thank you. Begin to do that which only you can do and take all the glory. Yes, take over tonight and do that which only you can do. Thank you, Father. Even as we minister to your people, Father, begin to heal, begin to restore, yes, begin to empower, begin to do a new thing. Yes, Lord, is our season of greater glory. Begin yes, to shine your light on your people. Begin to move your people to a new dimension. Begin to do that which only you can do. Father, take your place. And by the time you're done, Father, you will take all the glory. Thank you for doing a new thing that is springing forth. By the power and the name that is above every name. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take over. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome you. Hallelujah. Take over. Thank you, Jesus. King of glory, take over tonight. Begin to do a new thing that will spring forth in the life of your people. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be lifted. You are worthy to be exalted. Ancient of days, we honor you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Take over. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Welcome people to tune in to join us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord of Hope. There's no one like Jehovah. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. We honor you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I can't do it by myself. Hallelujah. Take over, Lord of hosts. Take over. Ancient of days, take over. Have your way in this place. Be thou exalted, ancient of days. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. You are worthy to be lifted, to be honored. You are worthy to be magnified. There's no one like you. Take over tonight. Take over. We take authority over the atmosphere, over the airwaves. We bind every power of the enemy. We bind every satanic mandate, every satanic authority. Take over, Father, take over. Have your way. Have your way. Take over tonight. We give you praise. Father, we give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Take over. Take over. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I give you praise and honor. 
Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. I honor you, Lord. Thank I exalt you, your name. Take over, Lord. Take preeminence. There's no one like you, Jehovah. Mighty God, mighty warrior. You are worthy to be lifted, O Lord of hosts. You are worthy to be magnified. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Thank you, Lord. Be thou lifted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. This is the day the Lord has made. Yes, Father. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. There's no one like Jehovah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you tune in, please help us to invite people to join us in this broadcast. And the Lord will bless you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm just welcoming people. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome your presence tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Take over tonight. Take over. Take over. There's no one like you, Jehovah. You are the mighty warrior. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be exalted. He is worthy to be magnified. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. We welcome you tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you tune in, please help us to share that other people can come in. Hallelujah. This is the first day of our 21-day fast. And our topic today is manifest the glory of God. Manifest the glory of God. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your atmosphere. We worship you tonight. We give you praise and honor. There's no one like Jehovah. Yes, he is the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever and ever. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. There's no one like Jehovah. He is the mighty God. He is the ancient of days. He is Jehovah, the mighty warrior. There's no one like him. Father, we thank you tonight. We give you praise. We give you honor. We exalt your name. Oh, let's let's go to Isaiah 60 from verse 1. Thank you, Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. The word of God says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, arise, arise. It's time for somebody to arise. It's your season to arise. It's time to manifest the glory of God. It's time to take hold of that which God has prepared for you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Indeed, your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. It's your time, it's your turn, it's your season to actually manifest the glory of God. It doesn't matter your circumstances. Don't let your circumstances determine your praise. Don't let whatever you're going through determine how much you think God can do and or how you think God can operate in your life. Yes. It's time to arise yes. and shine. Yes. It's your time to shine. It's your time to yes. take hold of the light of the Bible. Say you are the light of the world. You are a city set on the hill. You cannot be hidden. That which God is doing in your life in this season cannot be hidden because Amen. it's your time. Amen. It's your turn. Amen. It doesn't matter what is happening in the world. Yes. The second verse, it says, the darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness. He said, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you. 
and his glory will be seen in your life. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Verse 2, hallelujah. Darkness shall cover the earth. It doesn't matter what is happening. Don't let what is happening in the world affect you. Don't let the circumstances of what you see happening around your atmosphere, around your hemisphere, around the world, wherever you are, don't let whatever is happening affect you and hinder you from that which God has for you in this season. Oh, hallelujah. Behold, darkness, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness, the people but the Lord will arise over you. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, whatever situation, you might even be confused. Whatever it is, the word of the Lord says, but the Lord will arise over you. The Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord will be seen upon Amen. you. Oh, praise God. The glory of the Lord will be seen upon you. Oh, in the name of Jesus, arise and shine and take hold of that which God has for you. Oh, praise God. The glory of the Lord will be seen upon you. Arise is your season to manifest the glory of God. It's your time to arise. It's your time to begin to think positive. Begin to position your mind to think God kind of thought. Begin Amen. to believe the word of God. The Bible said to them that believe there shall be a performance. Amen. To them that believe what the word of God says. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith is calling to things that be not as though they were. Yeah. You haven't seen it but you know that is there. You haven't seen it but you believe that God will do it. He Amen. said if you're coming to me you must believe I am God. I'm a rewarder yeah. of them that diligently Oh, seek me. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. You must believe God in this season. You must make up your mind and have believe that you're stepping into that realm. You're stepping into that breakthrough. You're stepping into that blessing. You're taking hold of your breakthrough. Oh, hallelujah. You're possessing your possession in this season. It doesn't matter what the enemy says. The Bible said there are many thoughts in a man's heart, but it's only the will of God that will be established. I have come to let you know that it, the will of God will be established in your life in this season by the power in the Amen. name that is above every name. The will of God will be established. Amen. The word of God will work for you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. The hand of God is upon you Amen. and that which God has prepared for you will surely come to pass. Amen. By the power in the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree and I declare Amen. that the hand of God is upon you Amen. and the hand of God will cause you Amen. to do good. The hand of God will cause you to step Amen. into your breakthrough. Amen. The hand of God will cause you to take hold of that which belongs to you. Amen. It doesn't matter what the enemy says. It doesn't matter the power Amen. that comes against you. The word of God says, behold, Amen. I give unto you power to tread on serpents, on scorpion, Amen. over the powers of the enemies. Amen. And he said, nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Hallelujah. Amen. Not in this your season of glory. Not in this season that Amen. God has released the word. Is your season Amen. of greater glory. And now you must manifest the glory of God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Lema shatter. Receive the grace Amen. to prosper. Receive Amen. the grace to of actualization. Amen. Receive the grace to operate in favor. Receive the grace Amen. for the blessings of God. Amen. Receive the grace that people will just Amen. remember you. Receive the grace Amen. that doors will begin to open for Amen. you by his own accord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 3 of this scripture says, thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Amen. He's God all by himself. Amen. Thank you, Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. He said, the Gentiles shall come to your light and the kings Amen. to the brightness of your rising. The Gentiles, the unbelievers, they will see the light of God. Amen. They will see what God is doing in your life. They will come to your light. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. They will come. They will come and see what the Lord has done. <laughs> come and see what the Lord. Your people are going to sing. Yes. Gentiles will Amen. come to your light. They will come oh, to see what Amen. God is doing. They will come Amen. to experience the hand of God Amen. upon your life. Amen. And the king shall come to yes. the brightness, the brightness, Amen. oh, the brightness of your rising. Hallelujah. Amen. They will come to experience. They will come to have a taste of what God Amen. is doing in your life. The brightness, the Amen. quality. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I'm telling you, God is taking you on a Amen. journey. A journey. Oh, oh, a journey that he will make name for himself in your life. Hallelujah. A journey of actualization. A journey of beautifying you. A journey of upliftment. A journey of empowerment. The Lord is taking you to a new realm of power. A new realm of glory. A new realm of harvest. A new realm of operating in the blessings of God. The blessings that make it rich and added no sorrow. That is your portion in this season. Oh, praise, praise God. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. The next verse says, thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. Lift up your eyes around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. To you. Yes, to you. To, somebody might say, oh, is it to? Yes, to you. They all gather to you. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. They all come to you. And the next verse, what did he say? Oh, thank you, Jesus. They come to you. Then you shall see and become radiant. And your heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's your season of breakthrough. Amen. It's your season to prosper. Amen. It's your season Amen. to begin to, to take hold of that Amen. which God has released to you. Male shataya baba. Male, we say the Gentiles shall come to your life. The kings will come Amen. to the brightness of your rising. He said, then you shall see and become radiant Amen. and your heart shall swell with joy Amen. because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The abundance of this shall be turned to you. Wealth of the Gentile shall come to you. God is telling me, tell, don't begin to ask me how, how. I don't know your circumstances, Amen. but all I know is that the God of heaven has spoken. Amen. I know a God of miracle. Amen. I know the God that never fails. Amen. You may not see the cloud nor the rain. All I know is that your valley Amen. shall be filled. I don't know. Amen. Sudden Amen. miracle is coming. Amen. Sudden Amen. breakthrough is happening to Amen. somebody. Amen. Oh, my Bible Amen. said the Lord will arise yes. and have mercy on you because Amen. there's time to favor you. This set time. He said, yes, the time has come. The Lord will arise and have mercy, Hallelujah. have favor. Amen. Hallelujah. Have Amen. grace on you. Oh, for the set time to favor you has come. Is your season to prosper. Is your season to manifest the glory of God. Is your season, oh, my shatter, oh, to glory in God. Is hallelujah. Is your season to boast with the name Amen. of the Lord. Is your season to showcase Amen. the glory of God. Amen. And it shall come to pass. Amen. It doesn't matter what the enemy says. That which God has spoken concerning Amen. your life will Amen. surely come to pass. Amen. Oh, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. Praise. Listen, listen, whatever God is saying, manifesting the glory means that somebody has to do something. Somebody has to, you know, hear what the word of God is saying. Somebody has to, you know, turn. The Bible says when Moses saw the burning bush, hallelujah, God didn't say anything until Moses, you know, stopped to look. When Moses stopped to look, God is trying to catch somebody's attention in this Amen. season. Until his attention was caught, when he stopped to look, then he heard the voice of God and said, Moses, take off your sandal, for where you're standing is a holy ground. God is waiting for you to turn. God is waiting for you to hear what he's saying. What is the word of God saying? The word of God is God by himself. The entrance of the word is what brings light to your understanding. Is what brings light to that darkness. Is what changes the atmosphere. The, the word of the king, wherever the word of the king is, there is power. Oh, mashatayaba. Lima sutaya. Let the word of God enlighten you in this season. Let the word of God open your heart of understanding. Let your word of the word of God open your eyes of understanding. Let the word of God bring you to that place of operating in the wisdom of God, the wisdom of actualization, the wisdom that will bring about creative ideas that that which God is putting in your heart will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. It's time to obey God. It's time to return to God. It's time to take hold of the word of God. It's time for you to surrender to God. It's time to return to God. Oh, he said, return to me and I will return to you. Oh, thank you, Lord. If you look at the book of Job, Job 22, from verse 21, the Bible talks about acquainting yourself with the Lord. When you acquaint yourself with the Lord and be at peace, the Bible said, good shall come to you. Hallelujah. It's time for someone to make up their mind to do the will of God, to obey God. Oh, my last shatter, Baba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Le branda kasunta. Now acquaint yourself. Job twenty two from verse twenty one. Now acquaint yourself with him, mm -hmm. and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. Acquaint yourself. Are you listening to the word of God? Acquaint yourself. You know, come to that place of you know, take hold of the word of God. Embrace God in this season.
-hmm. It's time for us to be matured. It's time for us to be intentional to mm -hmm. do the will of God. Mm -hmm. Take hold of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Understand that the word of God is God speaking to us. Mm -hmm. Acquaint yourself with him and be at peace. You don't need to be running helter skelter. You don't need to every no 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 believe what the word of God to them that believe. Yes. The Bible said there shall be a performance of that which God has spoken Amen. concerning you. It shall come to pass. Ah, my I speak it into existence. That which God is saying concerning you in this season, it shall come to pass. No power can stop it. In this season of your glory, greater glory, you must manifest the glory of God. The glory of God must be seen in your life, in your finances, in your mind. Marriage, in your business, in your in your calling. Oh, Mashata, you will fulfill your purpose. You will shine like the stars of heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Acquaint yourself with him and be at peace and then good shall come to you. And the next verse it says, oh, thank you. Receive please instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. Receive instruction from the Lord. Let's, let's, let's come to that place of believing and, and receiving. The Bible says the, the engrafted word of God. Receive the engrafted word of God that is able to build your, your life, build your, oh, build your soul or build your life. Hallelujah. And he said, don't be here as only. Be the doers of the word. Hallelujah. And he said, because if you're just a hearer, you're like somebody that looks at themselves in the mirror. And by the time you leave the mirror, you forget how you look. That's how it looks when people just, they don't take hold of the word of God. They're not running with the word of God. They're not at uh, uh, the entrance. They're not allowing the word of God to enter and build your life. Bible say that when, when people are, are just hear us, they just hear and walk past like somebody that passes through the mirror and forget how they look in that mirror. Hallelujah. He said, but the one that looks to the perfect law of liberty, the perfect law, the word of God is the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and becomes a doer of the work. He said, this is the one that will prosper in whatever they do. The doer of the work. This is, you see what he's saying in Job 22, 22. He said, receive please instruction from his mouth and lay up his word in your heart. Inscribe the word of God in the tablet of your heart. Oh, because out of your heart flows the issues of life. Issues of life. Oh, praise yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord of hosts. The next verse, verse from Thank you, Jesus. If you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. Are you listening to that? If you return to the Almighty, you'll be built up and you will remove iniquity far from your tent. If you return, return to me and I will return. Don't just hear and just live in your life. No, 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 no. Return to the Almighty. Obey what he's saying. Do what is expected. Hallelujah. If you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. We're talking about greater glory. And today's topic, manifesting the glory of God. If you want to manifest the glory of God, you must return to the Almighty. Oh, hallelujah. And you must be built up. Hallelujah. Not by yourself. It's him that will build you up. And you will remove iniquity far from your tent. Iniquity are sins that have become a lifestyle. Hallelujah. Sin, you know, there are sins that it, it doesn't even look like sin anymore. It's become a lifestyle. In, you will remove iniquity from your tent because now you are in relationship with God. Amen. Oh, praise God. And we continue. And he said, then you will lay up, you will lay your gold in the dust. You're looking for prosperity. You're looking for greater glory. You want to manifest the glory of God when you return to the Almighty, when you remove iniquity, when you appoint yourself with the Lord and be at peace, good will come to you. Then you will lay up, we will lay your gold on the dust and the gold of Ophir among the stones of the brook. Hallelujah. What you're looking for, or looking up to get is down there, it's just right there, like what the Bible says. The word of God is not in heaven for somebody to say who is going to go and get the word of God for us, or it's inside the water that you're going to say, Who will go inside this ocean to bring the word of God? We say it's right there in your mouth, it's right, your Bible is there. <laughs> Praise God. The word of God is right there. It's right. No, no, no. It's time to it's there. Take Amen. it. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise God. It's there. Take hold of it. Eat it. I'm Amen. telling you, take hold of it. Live in it. Jump into it. Take hold of it. Yes. And it will change your life for good. Oh, hallelujah. He said, yes, the almighty will be your gold. Are you listening to that? The almighty will be your gold. Verse 25 of Job 22. The almighty will be your gold. Amen. 
and your precious silver. The Almighty will be your gold. Everything you're looking for is in God. I'm telling you the truth. Everything you're looking for. The Almighty will be your gold as we continue. It says the Almighty will be your gold. And the next verse. It says, for then you will have your delight in the Almighty. And lift up your face to God. Your delight in the Almighty. Oh, praise God. When you are at peace. You're not, you're not, you're not running after one thing or the other. Your, your focus is on God. While you're doing your business, while you're doing whatever you're doing, wherever you are, your focus is on God because Amen. you know that he is the supply. Amen. He is your source. Amen. You're looking up to the hill from where Amen. comes your help. Your help comes from God. You have to come to that place of understanding. That it doesn't matter who you know. Amen. If God has not released, then nothing will be released to you. So who you need to seek their face is God. You need to seek the face of God. You need to be in relationship with God. You see, for then you will have your delight in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. You will make your prayer to Him. He will hear you and you will pay your vows. Hallelujah. You will also decree a thing and it shall be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Light will shine on your ways. It's the will of God for light to shine on your ways. Like I'm saying to you, this is your season of greater glory, but there are things to be done. Mm -hmm. You will also decree a thing and it will be established. So light will shine on your ways. And 29 says, oh, praise God. Light will shine on your ways. When they cast you down and you say exaltation will come, then he will save the humble person. Another translation says, when there, there is a casting down, they will be saying, there is a lifting up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what is happening around you. With God, all things are possible. All things are possible. When they say there is a casting down, you will be saying there is a lifting up for me. There is a lifting up for me. It doesn't matter though how the drought is. It doesn't matter how the famine is. Oh, in your, you will be among the people that are prospering. Mm -hmm. You'll be among the people multiplying. Amen. You'll be among the people flourishing Amen. because the hand of God is upon you. Amen. The glory of God is upon you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord thank of hosts. Lima Shataya Baba. The Lord said, acquaint yourself with me yes. and be at peace and good shall come to you. Yes. Acquaint yourself. Let's quickly look at Daniel 11.32. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord of hosts. Thank you, Lord of hosts. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. They will do great exploits. They that know their God. I believe that, you know, they that wait on the Lord precede they that know. They that wait on, you have to wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord. They shall renew their strength and mount up with wings as ego. They will run, they will not be weary. They will walk, they will not faint. Oh, hallelujah. Listen, manifesting the glory of God, sometimes I don't know the, the path God will allow you to go. The path you might even be tested. The path you're going, the things you're going. So if you don't, Come to that place of knowing that I, irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of whatever I face, I'm going to wait on the Lord. It doesn't matter how it looks like everybody has left me. It doesn't matter how it looks like, oh, this work you're doing is not prospering. It doesn't matter how probably your, your body, your, your health is failing you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. You have to make up your mind that I'm going to wait on the Lord. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength in this season. How you don't give up because sometimes at the edge of miracle, many people give up. At the edge of the breakthrough, oh, you give up. At the edge of the breakthrough, you're fighting this person. You're fighting that person. Oh, this one said that. No, 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 no. They that wait on the Lord, the word of God said, they shall renew their strength. They will mount up wings as eagle. They will run. They will not be weary. They will walk. They will not faint. That is your portion. When you get to this point, you see that now you know your God. It, because you have come to that place 
place that you are not moved by the circumstances around you there because you have trusted God. You have trusted Amen. Him. They that trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion that shall, cannot be moved as the mountains surround Jerusalem. So the hand of God surround His people. Oh, then you come to Daniel that says in Daniel eleven thirty two, they that know their God, they are they will be strong and they shall do great, great, great exploits. Hallelujah. They that know their God. Because the enemy has tried you with all sorts. The enemy has tried to push you. The enemy has tried to oh, frustrate you. The enemy has lied to you. The enemy has come up with all sorts. Trying to make you have bought your breakthrough. Make you have bought your season. The enemy has come to weaken you. Oh, but the Lord is saying to you, hold on. Hold on. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord that he will accomplish for you today. I don't know the Egyptians you have seen yesterday. I don't know the problems you have faced. I don't know what the enemy says concerning you. I don't know what it is that you're going through. He said the Egyptians you see today, you will see them again no more forever. And he said the Lord will fight your battles and you will hold your peace. The Lord is making way. He is the ocean divider. Oh, he's the one that divided the Red Sea. God is dividing the way for you. Every evil water, every evil flood, every evil river that is a blockage in your destiny or standing against you and your destiny by the power in the name of Jesus. May that river be divided. May that ocean be divided. May it be swallowed up by the power in the name of Jesus. May it be lit up by the fire of God. Oh, my Lord. The Bible said the children of Israel they walked through the Red Sea on dry ground. It doesn't matter how it looks like. Oh, how, how, how. You know, sometimes people are in problems that you don't know how. It looks like there is no solution. I have come to let you know that there is solution in that situation. There is solution in that situation. There is God is already making way. God is already clearing the path. God is already fighting the battle. God is already opening the door. Ah, Mashata, every iron gate is already opening by his own accord. The angelic hosts are on assignment for your sake. They are doing that which only God can do my less shatter. Deliverance is taking place. God is liberating you from the hands of the enemy, from the powers of the enemy, from the authorities of the enemy. God is liberating you from every satanic mandate. No, 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 no. It won't happen this time. Every eater of your harvest, every power that stands at the edge of your miracle, every power that makes you to be on the treadmill of life. You're running, but you are at the spot. You're not moving. Nothing is happening. No, no, no. I break that yoke today. I break the powers Amen. of limitation, Amen. every power of stagnation, Amen. every power of stunted growth, every power of toiling, laboring in vain. That yoke is broken. In this season, there is no space for the enemy. The floodgates of heaven is open for your breakthrough. Oh, Father, we thank you. They that know their God, they shall be strong and they will do great exploits. They that know their God. Oh, thank you, Lord of hosts. Listen, I want you to know that God is with you Amen. as a mighty or someone. The Bible says your persecutors will not prevail against you. They will stumble. I don't know the power that is coming against you, whether it's from the water or it's from the coven, witches and wizard coven, or from your father's house. It doesn't matter the shrine speaking against you. It doesn't matter the power. Listen, there is no power greater than the power of Jehovah. The mighty warrior, he is Jehovah Sabaoth. He will fight all your battles. He will deliver you from the hands of the enemy, from the powers of the enemy, from the fear of death, every fear of the unknown, by the power in the name of Jesus. That yoke is broken. You are delivered from the hands of the enemy. Be loose from every bondage. Be loose from every cause. Be loose from every satanic authority. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Listen, I said to someone, mm -hmm. I want to hear that God is, a, see, every time God promises us something, mm -hmm. there's always a clause, mm -hmm. what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. If you look at Joshua 1, oh, hallelujah. Even when you look at it from verse 5, yeah. Joshua was saying to him, God was saying to him, no man shall be able to stand before you. All the days of your life. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. 
I will not leave you nor forsake you. Are you listening to that? God cannot set you up and leave you. I'm telling you, when the Lord is saying this, it's time to manifest your glory. It's your season of greater glory. He cannot just set you up or you go and uh, do it yourself. Now. No, 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 no. He's with you. No man shall yeah, be able yeah. to stand before you if you're working with him, if you're willing to obey the, the, what God is saying to you. As I was with Moses, I was saying to Joshua, I will always so be with you. And God is saying to somebody tonight, I will be with you. I am with you. Oh, I am with you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am with you. God is saying to you, I am with you. Oh, feel John boy. God is with you. Oh, that shut out. Zamari Sonio say, God is with you as a mighty or someone. As I was with Moses, I will also be with you. Listen, God is with you and the Lord will bring it to pass. That which he's saying concerning you in this season. Hallelujah. But li li listen what he says. You know, if you continue, he says, be strong and of good courage. For to these people, you shall divide as inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give to them. Listen, I don't know what your assignment is. To these people, you might be a, a leader somewhere. Mm. You might be a teacher. You Amen. might be a, a pastor somewhere. Hallelujah. You might be a helper. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's you might be somebody. Mm. You might be a financial pillar. Mm. You might be a spiritual mm. pillar. Yeah. There, must, there must be, everyone has a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. To these people, it can even be evangelism. Yeah. Go and win souls in the kingdom. Yeah. There must be something yeah. you're doing in the kingdom of God. Don't be in the category of people Hallelujah. that just as just sit warmers or just, you know, just um, freelancers. On, they're not anywhere. They're not mm. involved in anything. Mm. What is it that God wants you to do? Who are you in the kingdom? What are, because that thing you're doing is what you can use to petition God. Amen. There must be something you're doing in the kingdom. Hallelujah. So whatever it is, he was saying to him, be strong and of good courage. To these people, you're going to divide this land. It's your responsibility to take them to the promised land. That's his responsibility. I don't know yours. And the next verse, he says what? Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law of Moses, my servant, has, my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Did you hear that? Don't turn from the word of God. And the next verse is say, this book of the law, this word of God shall not depart from your mouth. <laughs> it's still saying it today. It's still saying the same thing to me and you. Hallelujah. This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. That means your prosperity is in your hand. Manifesting the, the greater glory is in your hand. Hallelujah. Taking hold of that which belongs to you is in your hand. When you obey his word, Amen. when you walk according to his will, which is his word, yes. you don't turn to the left or the right mm -hmm. and you do as it is written. He said, you, you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. Good success. Mm -hmm. Not success that will make you to the moment breakthrough come, you backslide. The moment <laughs> you see the lights, Ah, you don't have time again. <laughs> the moment God just remembers you, ah, you go crazy. No, 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 that's not, that's, that's not a good success. That's not a good success. Any success that will make you to diminish the level of your, your, your relationship with God. The, any success that will make you, that thing you're doing in the house of God, you're no longer doing it. You, you, you don't, you know, that's not a good success. Oh, praise God. Listen, God is with you. The, the, the next verse, verse 9, it says, Have I not commanded you? Have I not commanded you? It's time for you to know that whatever God is saying, he backs himself. or he, He's standing by you. Amen. You don't need to worry. Oh, hallelujah. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. How? I'm telling you, I mean, as humans, sometimes you'd be wondering how this, especially if you're somebody that God is giving a big vision. And when the Lord is playing that, 
that film in your heart and it, you'll be wondering how, huh? And it, you know, it, that still small voice will still tell you that it is not your work. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Lord is with you to perfect that which is doing in your life. Amen. The Lord is with you to complete that which is doing in your life. Amen. The Bible says every good and perfect gift is from the Father of light. He's the one that will perfect it. He's the one that will complete it. He's the one that will order your step into Amen. your wealthy place. He's the one that will, the Bible says when you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. He said in all your ways you acknowledge him. He will direct your path to your wealthy place. He will direct your path to the one that is holding your Next level, he will direct your path to the right Amen. place, and you will be at the right place at the Amen. right time. <laughs> the path of the just, the Bible says, is a shining light, it shines brighter and brighter until the perfect day, brighter and brighter from glory to glory, from blessing to blessing, Amen. from breakthrough to break. Amen. No, you can't live in past Amen. glory. No, 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 no. You cannot live what I used to. No, no, no. This time around, God is restoring you. God is rebuilding your life. God is positioning you for breakthrough that will enduring riches. Enduring riches. Riches that will endure. It's not today. It comes and before you know it, it fizzles. No, no. Enduring riches and righteousness in the midst of your wealth and whatever God is doing in your life, your righteousness will grow brighter and brighter. Let my shut Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's what God wants. That God blesses you. Oh, you're even getting deeper in relationship. Come to me. I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, he said, come, come. Acquaint yourself with me. Oh, malashata. Return to me. I will return to you. It's the will of God to prosper you. He's the owner of the Bible. said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the cattle upon a thousand hills, belongs to your God. Oh, hallelujah. It's the will of God to prosper you. It's the will of God to bless you, to multiply you, or oh, to lift you up, or oh, for his glory. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord of hosts. Oh, are you listening to what the word of God is? If you even look at Deuteronomy 28, you know, he's saying, if you will diligently obey the commandment which I command you today. They're talking about manifesting the glory of God. Manifesting the glory of God. It doesn't just happen. It doesn't just happen. It's the will of God for Amen. the glory of God to be manifested through you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey Amen. the voice of the Lord your God Amen. to observe carefully all Amen. his commandments, which I command you today, Amen. that the Lord your God will set you high above the nations of the earth. He will set you high. He will lift you up. Amen. The Lord your God will Amen. set you up. The Lord will lift you. Amen. The Lord will announce you. Amen. People that, that rejected you yesterday suddenly will see you and you will be of importance Amen. to them. People that didn't want to give you access yesterday suddenly, oh, they, they, they are saying, do you still need that thing? Amen. Doors will begin to open. Amen. For you. Amen. Do, one door will lead to 20 more doors. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Because of your relationship, hallelujah. If you will obey the commandment which I command you today, he said, the Lord your God will set you up. Will set you high above the nations of the earth. And the next verse says, thank you, Lord. And all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you. Abundance. Mm. <laughs> Overflow. Yes. All these blessings yes. shall come on you and overtake you. Because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. You know, I mean, listen to what is because you obey, please. It's time for us to be matured. Maturity that I have to obey God. I have to build a relationship with God. I have to be a faithful woman of God, a faithful Amen. man of God, a, a faithful Amen. child of God. Amen. I have to do things God's way. Amen. I mean, there's nothing in the world. The Bible says if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. If they, they care, they, what is it? They, they, they lost of the flesh, they, they, they lost of the eye, the pride of life. He said, all these things are perishing. Whatever the world has to give perishes. Mm -hmm. He said, when you love the world, you don't love the Father. You don't love God. Mm -hmm. 
and he's saying to you that if you can obey me, all these blessings will come on you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord. Amen. Deuteronomy 28, that's verse 2. And verse 3, what did he say? Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed yes. shall you be in the country. Go on. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall you be, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. The produce of your ground, mm -hmm. the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle, the offsprings of your cattle, of your flocks. Blessed shall be your basket and your needing bowls. Blessed shall be your basket and your needing bowls. Blessed shall be, shall you be when you come in. Blessed shall you be when you go out. Huh. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. These are blessings. Amen. The Lord will command the blessings on you in your storehouse Amen. and in all which you set your hand. Amen. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he swore to you. If you keep the commandments which the Lord God if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. Did you see that? Mm. If you keep the, his commandment and walk in his ways, mm. he will establish you as a holy people mm. to himself. Just as he has sworn to you, then all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you. Mm. Are you listening to that? Mm. They shall be afraid of you and the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, mm -hmm. and in the produce of your ground, in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. Oh, praise God. He said, the Lord will open to you his good treasures, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in his season, and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Oh, praise God. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only, not beneath. If you heed the commandment of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. Hallelujah. These are the keys. So you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right or to the left, to go after other gods, to serve them. Are you listening to God? Oh, praise God. They're talking about manifesting the glory of God. Listen, I mean, this is just all, all keys that mm -hmm. if you follow it, you begin to see God in action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you obey his commandment, if you mm -hmm. surrender, I'm telling you, look at all the blessings that the Lord is saying. If you can obey me, I will, I will raise you high above mm -hmm. the nations of the earth. Bless you in the city. I'll bless you in the country. I'll bless everything about you. What else do we want? Why can't we surrender to God? What? What? Just yes, see, you can't. I don't know whether you know that that the world, Satan, is the god of the world. So if you're doing things worldly way, you're actually serving Satan. Hallelujah! Satan is the god of the world. The kingdom belongs to Jesus. Jesus is the head of the church, the kingdom of God. Praise God! It's time for us to do what he's saying to us because sometimes we act like we're not hearing what god is saying we're just doing our own thing we're just this one said mm -hmm. no no listen to what the word of god says listen to what he's saying he's saying something forget about prayer that is prayed yeah prayer is very good but outside prayer listen to what the the owner of the work the owner of the earth hear what he's saying it doesn't matter who prays for you and you're not hearing mm. what God is saying. That's why many prayers are not answered. Hear what he's saying. Now look at all the blessings. Look at all that he's saying. And then he said, obey my voice. Obey my commandment. If you obey it, oh, look at all these blessings. It's for you. Oh, praise God. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Listen, I want you to know that the Lord is with you. But let's quickly look at 1 Corinthians 15, 34. Thank you. As we're rounding up, thank you, Jesus. Oh, he's God all by himself. Amen. There's no one, no one, no one like Jehovah. He is the mighty God. He said, awake to righteousness 
and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I Hallelujah. Some do not have the knowledge of God. Awake to righteousness. We're talking about manifesting the glory of God. Manifesting the glory of God. You're going to be an ambassador that will showcase the glory of God. Amen. That will showcase the prosperity Amen. of God. That Amen. will showcase great grace, great Amen. glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Awake to righteousness. Don't be in the category of people that, oh, I thank God, but they are half naked. Oh, I thank God. But everything about you doesn't show God. Awake to righteousness Amen. in this season. Take hold of the word of Amen. God and let the word of God be. The Bible says, is the engrafted word that is able to build your soul. Amen. It's the engrafted word that can change your mindset, Amen. change the way you think. And you'll be, the Bible says, if, if you, hallelujah, how did he say it? And if you, if you, return, you know, change to the, um, whatever, you'll be good for, you'll be prepared for every good work. Hallelujah. If you change your lifestyle, if you change whatever is not good, if you change whatever the enemy is making us to do and begin to do what God wants us to do, we will be a, a pattern of good work and we'll be ready for God for every good work. Oh, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Matthew 5, 14. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord of hosts. I give you praise. Listen, I want you to know that God is with you. He said, you are the light of the world. A city set on the hill. You cannot be hidden. You, whatever God wants to do in this kingdom, in this world, it is through you and I. If you look at Micah 4 from verse 1, it talks about what is the expectation of God for the church. I don't know if you're part of the church, but it's time for us to take hold of our positions in Christ and begin to manifest the glory of God. He said, now all... Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Micah from 1, 4 verse 1. Thank you, Lord of hosts. Thank you, Lord. Are you listening to God? He said, now it shall come to pass in the latter days, we're in the latter days, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. Talking about the church. The mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow to it. People, are you among the people that are making people to flow to it? Are you a soul winner? Are you somebody that your life, you are the light of the world. People see you, they want to serve your God. Is, are you living a lifestyle that is drawing people? He said the, the mountain of the Lord are, and it shall, it shall be exalted above it. Now it shall come to pass that in the latter days, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. Don't think of people and say, oh, church is, no, church is having no problem. What is going on now is what the Bible calls the great falling away. And if you read that, I think Thessalonians, uh, Second Thessalonians 2 or something, the Bible talks about, it, it said, because the people refused the knowledge of the, of the truth, he, you know, God gave them over to a delusion to believe the lie. That's why people are listening to all sorts of things and criticism, church. No, no, the church belongs to Christ. That's why Jesus died on the cross. Who told you that nothing has happened to the church? And he's telling you and I that in the last days now that the mountain of the Lord's house shall do what? Oh, shall be established on top of the mountain. This is the time that if you're backsliding, this is the time that the glory of God will be revealed in the life of people that, that made it, people that are pressing on irrespective of the darkness. The, the Bible said, gross darkness. <laughs> there will be darkness on the earth. And it said, deep darkness, the people. But the light of God will shine over you. So if you're among the people that is still awake, that you're still holding on to the, the, the your relationship with God, that means you're among the people that God will use, that he said that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on top of the mountain that the nation of the world, everyone will see. And he said, and shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow to it. Who told you that? And I said, oh, no, there's no problem. How can God be telling people, get ready and go to nation? Get ready. I'm telling you, I tell people, I know my next assignment. And that's the truth. The next verse says what? Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, many nations shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Many nations. I'm telling you, people will say, Pastor Chi, please, um, I want to come to the house of God. They will be coming from nation to nation. Amen. And we'll be going to from nation to nation, Amen. ah, preparing for the end time revival. Amen. 
for the coming of Christ. Who told you? Nothing is wrong with the church. It is a great falling away. People that don't want to pay tithe. People that are robbing God. People that don't want to eat Jesus to be their, 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 head, their leader. The people that don't want to obey God. They're just doing their own. People that want to follow the world. They're just deceiving themselves with all sorts of stories. And there are people that are still serving God. There are people that are still not living in sin. There are people that still believe God. There are people that are still focused on the assignment. You know, the one that is the Bible says, because they refused the knowledge of the truth, He gave them over to a delusion to believe lie. Are you among those people believing lie? You're deceiving yourself in case. Oh, praise God. Oh, He said, Many nations shall come. That's verse 2 of Micah 4. Many nations shall come and say, Come. Let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways. Oh, my God. He will teach us his ways. And we shall walk in his paths. For out of Zion, the Lord shall go forth. And the word, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Out of Zion. Zion is the church. Out of the church. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Are you listening to the word of God? Out of Zion. He said, for out of Zion, the law shall go forth. Mm -hmm. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Absolutely. Are you listening to that? Hallelujah. You need to rise up. It's your season to manifest the Amen. glory of God. I don't know what God Amen. has put in you. But I have come to let you know that this is the time to take hold of your place in God. Oh, the Bible said Daniel proposed in his heart he will not defile himself with the delicacies on the king's table. Oh, let's let's read Psalm 84, verse 11, and Psalm 102, verse 3. You put some verse 8 there. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Listen, oh, Daniel, it's time to propose in your heart. I will not sin against God. I will not be distracted. I will not be among the people that will fall away, great falling away, that God will give over to a delusion. Eh? Romans 1 from verse, the Bible said they, 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 because the people refuse to acknowledge God as God, he gave them over to a delusion, he gave them over to a reprobate heart. That's what he says there. He gave them over to it. That's why you see people, man loving man, woman loving woman. You know, just, the Bible said they, he gave them over to shame. It's there in the word of God. <laughs> Praise God. He said the, the, the wrath of God is coming against every ungodliness for people that know God, but they did not treat him as God. They know God. They know what God says. Oh, praise God. Psalm 84 verse 11 says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory, oh my God, to you and I. I said no good thing will he withhold from those who walk upright. No good thing. There's nothing God will withhold from you. The Lord, your God, is your shield. is your son and shield. The Lord will give grace to you and I. He will give glory to us. There is no good thing that God will withhold from us. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 103. My Psalm 102 verse 8. I don't know what it's there. But I expected Psalm 103. Oh, Rashataya, Mama. The Lord will arise and have mercy on you. For the set time to favor you. Oh, the set time has come. Is your set time to be favored? Is your set time to be lifted? Oh, hallelujah. Is your set time? Is your set time? Oh, for the answer to that prayer. Is your set time? Oh, to see the answer to all that that you've been All your expectation. The Bible said the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, are you listening to what I'm saying? The, what the word of God is actually saying. Is your set time to prosper? Is your set time to manifest the glory of God? Is your set time to rise and shine for Amen. your time? Yes, your time has come. Thank you, Jesus. Is your set time, Pastor Remy, verse 3. Thank you, Jesus. Is your set time to flow? Oh, Rashataya Mama, to flow in the blessings of God, in the in the presence of God, in the power of God. Is your set time? Ancient of days, I lift your people before you tonight. Is God all by himself? 
Thank you, Jesus. Eternal rock of ages, I honor you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for doing that which only you can do. You are worthy. Lord, I lift your people before you that your word will work for us in this season. The power of the Holy Ghost will overshadow your people. But the power in the name that is above every name. Le mashata yabako sata. Ozamere, may the Lord empower you. May the Lord lift you up. May the Lord bless you like never before. Allah shata You will surely manifest the glory of God. Le makosata yababa. May the Lord reward your consistency. By the power in the name of Jesus. Maleka suntaya. Oh, Rabba Koshata, la mama, and you may the power of the Holy Ghost overshadow you. Ale Makosa, that God will meet you at the very point of your need. In this season of glory, the glory of God will surely be revealed in your life. By the power in the name that is above every name. Great grace, great grace to actualize, to step into that which God has for you. Oh, the power of actualization. You will take hold of that which belongs to you. By the power in the name that is above every name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you for being with us. Even as we continue in our fasting. 21 days. This is the first day of our 21 day fast. Uh, the Lord of hosts will be with us. It's our Amen. year of greater glory. Amen. And we have uh, we have made up our mind at this time. There are no, no stories. Amen. We are possessing. We are stepping into it. We, we've Amen. crossed every Jordan. Um, we are already in our promised land and we are taking hold of all that belongs to us. And I want you please to continue in fasting. And um, even every day, six o'clock, we're going to um, always be here to minister to you. And, um, and anyhow, if the Lord says 12 midnight, go and we will always be out there to minister to the people of God. I pray that the Lord of hosts will overshadow you by his power. Pastor, may the Lord bless you mightily and lift you up. May the grace of God for everything that God has in stock for you, the everything, the grace for actualization rests on you by the power in the name of Jesus. And that which you're doing in God, that you will get the full reward by the power in the name that is above every name. I pray that the Lord will meet you at the point of your need. May the light of his countenance shine on you. Oh, may the hand of God move you on eagle swing to your worldly places. That which you're desiring from God, that which you're asking God, Lord, this, this, I agree with you. I'm in agreement. Bible says, when two shall agree as reaching anything, is established in heaven. I agree with you today that that is done. There's solution. There is answer. God is stepping into that circumstance. Every power limiting you, I command them to lift up their heads. All ye gates, ye everlasting doors, that the king of glory, comes into that family, comes into that destiny, comes into that situation. I command total healing and restoration. Everyone in their sick bed, everyone that is dealing with one situation or the other. Oh, Rashata Yamakos. I use a man called Leslie. I, I use him as a point of, I declare total healing from the crown of his head to the soul of his head. I declare, Leslie will not die. He will live to fulfill his destiny on earth. Everyone on the sick bed, I speak healing. Oh, I speak healing. Everyone that is having pain in their body, I speak total wholeness from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Total wholeness, I declare. Total restoration. Restoration of all that the enemy has stolen. Oh, he say, I will restore to you that which the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm has eaten. You will eat in plenty and you will not be put to shame. Divine restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. I love you. And Jesus love you more. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Praise God.